I don't have too much to say. Today's lesson, we're going to learn about devotion. Today's lesson, we're going to learn about marriage. And we're going to learn about divorce. Lionel B. Show has a video titled Beyonce Files for Divorce from Jay-Z. Listen, y'all. I'm not about to talk. Let's see what we can learn. Let's see what today's lesson is. Beyonce and Jay-Z are officially over. Now, once thought as couples goes. Take this time to like the video if y'all want to. Y'all, it does help the channel. And hey, shout out to the people that be liking the comment. Real talk. Let's get it. Our couple over the last 15 years, Beyonce reportedly has moved further and further away from Jay and miss his infidelity and ties to Diddy. Now the couple initially met in 2000 and got married in 2008 and they shared three children together. Now after the raid, I never knew they had three kids. Oh Lord. Eight and they shared three children together. I want to see what she would look like look like and without what surgery. i heard about them as a couple is that they've been living separate lives for a very long time so they together but they live in separate now jay-z and diddy have been long good friends for many years and it's been reported that he took part in diddy's parties and also is connected to many of his trafficking crimes mm. not only that but also the news of his first daughter he hid from the world rock beyonce to the core Jay-Z's daughter down in Cambridge. It's it's out. I'm not leaking shit I know. Yeah, I knew. And also the shocking. <laughs> hey, she always throwing up her uh symbolism. And death of Jay-Z side chick pushed Beyonce to the brink as well. Now, a journalist was supposed to interview Jay-Z's alleged mistress is now looking to have him investigated for her 2011 death and with good reason. Now make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and watch this whole entire video so that you don't miss nothing. Now this reporter is coming out saying he potentially needs to be charged for silencing this young woman. Liz Crokin, Hold a on, journalist quick, who was pre- Give me like, give me about 15 minutes, I'm filming. All right, peace. My bad y'all, let's get to it. Previously employed with Star Magazine, was preparing to write a tell-all about Jay Z's alleged mm. mistress, Kathy. Mm. Oh, oh, oh! Wow! I read a comment. Wow! Wow! How did I miss that the first time I seen this picture? I read a comment that said, because I was saying, I was like, man, I don't know about this woman. It's that, this, that. She just got a look about her. I mean, look at her. She has a look about her. But they said that she was the one that opened the gates. If you know what I mean. Wink, 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 wink. Look at the screen. Wow. About Jay-Z's alleged mistress, Kathy White, in August of 2011. Now, Kathy had allegedly been caught creeping with Jay-Z in 2010, and they couldn't shake the rumors or get enough PR lies up fast enough to save Jay-Z's reputation. So what did he do? Apparently, they saying he took her ass out like Easy e the old injectable route. Now, according to Liz, Kathy initially told her that she didn't know Jay and had never partied with him. But after Liz confronted Kathy with pictures of her, Jay-Z, and Diddy at Town Nightclub in Las Vegas, Kathy got spooked and said she would consider going public with her story. And bro, look at that face, bro. God. Going public with her story and telling her side because the beehive was about to swarm her ass. Well, unfortunately, that story never got the chance to see the light of day. Y'all see it? Why you ask? 
Liz indicates that days later, when she tried to reach out to Kathy to get the interview details all put together, she was informed by her colleagues that Kathy had mysteriously died. Now, Liz says she strongly believes that. Now, it's so many things that surrounding this dude that are, I ain't going to say hard to believe, but it's just like, it's shocking. Beyonce filing for divorce would not surprise me at all. I really do think they're living separate lives. It's only so much a person can take, y'all. So it can allegedly get to the point where it's like, look, we can save the image, do it for shorty, and still get the money off of it. But at the end of the day, I'm not messing with you, period. I can really see that happening, especially when it's what they say, this much money in the elevator. <laughs> that the young and healthy Kathy was murdered and did not suffer a brain aneurysm like her autopsy report had stated. Liz wrote, I find it highly suspicious that a seemingly healthy 28 year old woman would drop dead from an aneurysm. Liz claimed that she had multiple credible sources come forward and tell her that Kathy had revealed her plans to go public about her alleged affair with Jay-Z, which is probably. I am so, so, so sick of seeing her spread things. Them, uh, in the L them things be so far apart, like they got magnets facing the same direction in them. Like, dude, I don't even know what I got. Why they got to show Elevator. so much? Now, Liz I mean, reports just it, days damn. after learning about Kathy's death, Beyonce announced her pregnancy with Blue Ivy at the 2011 VMAs. Now, Liz says it would have been a PR nightmare for Beyonce and Jay Z if Kathy did a tell all around the time they had crafted her over the top pregnancy announcement. Now, Kathy was also good friends with Claudia Jordan. According to Liz, media outlets during that time alleged that Claudia was convinced an A-list rapper had her friend killed. Liz hopes that Jay-Z will suffer the same fate as Diddy, who is currently facing several lawsuits alleging shootings, druggings, and more. She said it's only a matter of time before spirit cooking Jay-Z is exposed like He shared the chaotic journey they have navigated. Spirit cooking Jay-Z. Get together. He also shared that their music served as a form of therapy, allowing them to address their marital struggles openly. I hate you. Yeah? Good. Now, their relationship has once again become a topic of conversation, boosted by the singer's cover of Dolly Parton's Jolene under her new album, Cowboy Carter. Now, Queen B subtly suggested the possibility of her new boosted by the singer's cover of dolly parton's jolene all right let me see some let me look at this outfit because a lot of her dresses allegedly got a weird symbolism to me i want to see what that is without the cowboy carter on there i think it's funny that it's a very symmetrical split right there under her new album cowboy carter now, Queen B subtly suggested the possibility of divorce. She said, you know, most people walk away and like the divorce rate is 50% or something. He said before adding, because most people can't see themselves. And the 42 year old singer's new song has like that dress right there. It hits so different that you can actually see the diamonds, the pyramids, the eye. I don't think those are squares. I think those are pyramids. There was Cardi B in a picture. And was that Cardi B? She's doing the symbols with their hands. Her dress or whatever is being held up. But it's the Baphomet just upside down. The dress or garment that's being held up is the horns. It was another part that was the ears. But with her hands, 
she was doing a three six symbolism and it just screamed as above so below because it was something you had to view in reverse to really get the real composition of and they're putting it right in our faces crazy i wish i could find that picture Old singer's new song has once again sparked speculation that she may be referring to her relationship with the hip hop icon. We may actually see one of the biggest divorces in Hollywood is because Jay Z is up next to be exposed, and it's only so much of these stories that Jay Z can, you know, he can pay off or he can block. He won't be able to stop this, and she knows it, and he knows it too. Um, as far as who's gonna be the breakout victim slash story, I, I, don't, I don't know. Y'all might have to ask Jay Silly. She included. Take the sound of like the video, y'all. It's alright. It is okay. Classic Dolly Parton's track on her latest album. However, rather than a straightforward cover, the song appears to offer a personal rival cautioning her against interfering in her relationship and family she says jolene i'm a woman too the games you play are nothing new so you don't want no heat with me jolene we've been deep in love for 20 years i raised that man i raised his kids i know my man better than he knows him Ooh. i raised that man woman how you... i raised that man i wonder if jay-z feels the same way i'll just say that i know my man will release ahead of her husband's album 444. now birds of a feather definitely flock together with diddy being linked to so many underage girls jay-z was also called out by foxy brown where she said that jay-z gave her an s pass mm. it definitely was Mm, I couldn't even let that last letter hit. It's smart to be rocking with Diddy. Diddy got the whole damn block hot right now, and he doesn't have a glimmer of light nowhere near in sight. So, guys, this is going to be a huge Hollywood divorce, maybe bigger than anyone we've ever seen. Now, guys, think about this. We are talking about billionaires. These ain't no thousandaires. These ain't no millionaires. <laughs> These are billionaires, and they have kids. You know what I'm saying? So, man i have child support is gonna be looking absolutely crazy unless they decide to do the co-parenting thing it's cheaper to keep her allegedly and i'm probably leaning more towards that man i don't know that she will actually hit him with no child support but if she does it's not like she need the damn money but i'm pretty sure that damn child support bag is gonna be big as hell she ain't gonna want to deal with no other man she ain't gonna want to deal with nobody else's issues she's probably so messed up by jay-z and all mm. the things that he did she probably honestly hates men i wouldn't be beyonce would get her a regular dude and be happy i'm now nah, i'm a chill i ain't gonna say what i mm. listen <clears throat> i think beyonce need to be thugged out and then finessed I don't listen. I ain't saying I, you know what I mean, but come on, bro. She been with a camel forever. <laughs> a camel with holes. Surprise if she actually end up dating a woman because she tied. Uh, well, it wouldn't surprise me either. Of nigga shit. Now, Beyonce definitely is not any. Look how dark she look. She has a dark ass look. Look at that face and look at them eyes. Like I didn't had it look. She got a lot of bumps around her mouth too. That makeup, ladies, stay away from that makeup. The type of angel, man. She is the devil herself as well. Mm. Mm. whose side are y'all on our team jay-z we're gonna end it right there y'all 
I don't have a dog in the fight, but what I've learned from this video is never base love off of finances. Never base finances off of love. <laughs> never date a camel. Especially in an entitled camel that's just not having any regards for you or the relationship. I don't know. Like the video, I'm out. She was contacted originally by email through this person. And instead of this person, Diddy's PI, to basically be upset with the people who created these lawsuits like Tyrone Blackburn representing many people, or Douglas Wigdor for Cassie, what he's doing is that he's coming at content creators who are reading out the lawsuit. It doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna play you this TikTok. It's a very shocking threat that this man is making. So on March 29th, Russell Green, the private investigator mentioned in Little Rod's lawsuit against Diddy, reached out to Vicky May. Yes, the same private investigator who allegedly harassed an eight-year-old for information about her dad. He only reads oh, what wow. she sees and she doesn't add to it. So the video I'm about to play. Hey guys. Take this time to like the video, y'all. It don't cost nothing. I mean, you shouldn't even be here if you can't hit the thumbs up button, honestly conversation between Vicky and Mr. Russell Green, the private investigator that Diddy allegedly hired to pursue information about Rodney Jones. Hi, Russell. Uh, hi, Russell. This is Victoria. I got your email. Hey, Victoria. How are you? I'm good. How about you? Uh, I, uh, I got sent your uh, TikTok. You covering uh, Diddy Jacob and Mr. Dennis. Uh-huh. Is, uh, you okay to speak with me about that? Yeah, yes, sir. Uh-huh. Obviously, we're not in court right now. We're going to be in court at some point. But the information that you're covering, in addition to uh, involving me, is, is 100% inaccurate. Let me interrupt real quick, y'all. They are um I can hear you, but I, I didn't hear anything. They are just reading from court documents. So if what she's reading is inaccurate, what does that say about the court documents? And everything is allegedly. I can hear you, but I, I didn't hear anything anything. Okay. So is there a reason that you're calling me? Because as mentioned in the video, all of this is alleged and I made that clear in the video. Period. Nothing is all in, as listening until anybody who follows me, they know this is just his version of events. Nothing in this docket is fact nor fiction until obviously it's proven in court. Talk your shit. But only thing I did was read what was in the docket. So I didn't insinuate that it was true. I just read what was listed. Yeah, I just want to I just want to caution you as a journalist as what you're doing or the entertainment that you're doing. You're, you're actually causing a little bit more harm than good. All right. So. He's coming at a content creator about causing more harm than good. But that's really what this situation's about. A person causing more harm than good. A person allegedly handling people how they shouldn't be handled. This shit's crazy. And what I want to share with you, I understand you keep using the word allegedly. Show the problem is, is that the way that you're covering it sends a different message. And I just want to caution you that this is a very real investigation. This is not entertainment. Yeah, because your client was doing some real shit to people. Allegedly. The text messages that you're covering, the text message, the way that you're presenting it. Matter of fact, even what you said was inaccurate. The text this is the power of independent media. People are scared of independent media. I feel like that um, top tick, it's getting handled the way it is because of independent media, the truth, how vastly it spreads. Because if they're gonna do that to top tick, they need to do something to that app Z. Read between the lines, y'all. Message that you're referring to in your story to go back and listen to it. Doesn't even go with the story that you're giving. It's a different text message. Sir, I'm not yeah. giving anything, sir. I'm reading what's on literally on the screenshot on the paper. If there's an issue with how it's written, that would be a question you have with Tyrone Blackburn. He's the one who wrote it. So I'm just literally, and once again, I'm not a journalist. All I'm doing is literally reading what's on the paper and literally reading it to the audience. All of this is public information. I understand why you're calling and you're saying it's inaccurate, which I appreciate. So now I know going forward, you will not ever be mentioned. You're only mentioning that small piece. So I get that part. But I'm not allegedly. Just, just listen to you very carefully. Okay. Bro is talking kind of slick for real. And I love her energy, how she can't. Who is that? I got to go follow her. I like her. Just, just listen to you very carefully. Okay. 
go back and listen to what you put out there and then look at the text message that you're referring to. And I will remind you of this. You're looking at a screenshot of something that is incomplete. A lot is incomplete. It don't matter. He's not saying what she did read that was complete was false. Okay, so that, that, yeah, and I get you. And once again, that would be, this conversation would be with Tyrone Blackburn. I didn't write the docket. I only no. literally recorded it. Okay. That part. Like, I didn't write that. Well, I, I, I understand, but I, I would hope. And trust me, it's being dealt with, with, with Blackburn and judges and attorneys and all that. Okay. But again, if you want to have any credibility, not just not just running entertainment. Sorry. Whoa, whoa, whoa. If you want to have any credibility, I would have been like, bro, watch your choice of words. For real, for real, because I ain't got to be entertaining this conversation. Like she said, that conversation's for Tyrone Blackburn. But again, if you want to have any credibility, not just, not just running entertainment site, but again, if you want to have any credibility in what you're doing and what you're saying, instead of just saying a lynch, really going to be mindful and careful of what you're putting out there and do a little bit more research. If you do a little bit more research, I think it's going to change your opinion and it's also going to change how you promote what you're doing. You don't have to do what I'm telling you. I'm just, I'm letting you know. She should have asked him right at that point, what advice did you give your client to have people talking about this, to make it a conversation piece? It's 100% fabricated, and all you're doing is recirculating something that's 100% fabricated. And I can't go into any more details about it. <laughs> right, right, because, yeah, because it's an active investigation. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. But, but, but I'm just letting you know, I'm giving you, I'm giving you a heads up. I'm trying to help you. I don't have to make this call, but I'm trying to help you. Oh, you got to make that call, because I bet you Shorty getting views. Be very careful with the way that you're, you're promoting this. And just go back and do some of your research. Do some research. You're smart. I see what you're doing. I understand what you're doing. I totally get it. But just because you say alleged, there's still some responsibility that comes with what you're doing. This is not a game. Not entertainment. No, it's entertainment on your part. This is not entertainment. This is a real criminal investigation. And so, if you so we can't talk about entertainers that have stuff going on that's not good for them. Or the people that are involved, allegedly. There's that damn A word. You just take a little bit of time. Take a little bit of time. Do some research on the people that you're covering. And the validity of what's being said and what you're putting out there, I think you're going to have a much, much better story than what you're putting out there right now. Yeah, I do. Okay. And I appreciate the call. You enjoy the rest of your day. And luckily, this woman is not buying into it because anybody can easily be scared by what he is saying. He that could have been anybody calling her. That could have been the Paul dude that was running the pink stuff. He does mention the fact that, you know, oh, you don't want to lose credibility, being very passive aggressive, gaslighting, extremely condescending. Be Facts. Quiet. But she's not doing anything wrong. She's just reading out public information. Facts. Even if she didn't say the word alleged, she's reading out public information from Facts. a lawsuit that has come forth. So for the fact that Diddy's people are now phoning content creators, coming at them, whether they're TikTokers or YouTubers or whoever, to say, you need to shut up and be careful. You're a very smart person. We don't want you to go down the wrong road. Facts. Don't try to tell her to do something, then fake compliment her. And then go back to the put the the what what they call it, a push down? I'm about to push down on them or whatever they put whatever they call oh my god, I forgot. I forgot what they called it. Push down. Oh my lord. I had a mind fart. Dude, is B S. It's nonsense. It's a scare tactic. It's a fear tactic to say, listen, Diddy's a big man. He has money. Why not reach out to CNN? Why not reach out to Fox News? Why not reach out to Blackburn? Why reach out to a tick? Because to me, you just let us know some things that we didn't know. First Ooh. and foremost, you let us know that you are actually the PI that Diddy hired. Thank you for telling us because we didn't really know that. It's all alleged right now. Talk your shit, Queen. Talk your shit. But thank you for confirming that for us. On top of that, you also let us know that there are more text messages out there, not just the screenshots that we have on this loss. Really appreciate that information. And this is how a lot of people were scared of him and didn't say anything to him back in the day. The fact that they're doing this, to me, implies that Diddy is scrambling. Diddy is scrambling. I like you when you're scrambling and scraping, Daddy. Pause. I didn't feel right saying that. 
it was just so convenient to say that. <laughs> Most definitely. I felt like in November, December, I had some weird things going on as well at the time. And it was just, it didn't make any sense to me. Some weird anonymous messages or people seeing me, inciting me. It was very, looked like even more of an idiot. Put All right, y'all. Now, this next one. Young Miami goes off after 50 talks his stuff because she was served y'all let's get it with your webinars we shout out to um yeah i'm stacy i like bro channel a lot too all right let's get it and miami is finally showing chinks in her armor that she tried to put on you know as she's been acting unbothered since things been going on with diddy you know she's been mentioned in that wild ass little rod lawsuit which i told y'all moses cap i'm gonna get back to that this is what y'all got to keep in mind, man. These is real city girls. These girls, hey, they wasn't built to be in a position they in. They was built to have eyelashes that curl up and touch the top of their head. They was built to fly away. They was built to hop in the ocean and float. I'm going to leave that right there. I'm going to leave it right there. Basically, what I'm saying is, y'all, they don't have thick skin. If they were in the streets and these were people in the streets, they'd probably be scrapping every time somebody said something. Anyway, let's go. Another video because y'all ain't want to believe me, but more things are coming out to tell y'all. Most of that particular lawsuit is capped, but the other thing that's going on with Diddy, the Cassie stuff, that 16, 17 year old, that's the real deal. But a little raw lawsuit, cap. We can get back to that. But as you guys can see right here, Young Miami says, I get tired of being strong all the time. Now, this comes after two things. One, a little exchange with 50 Cent, a light exchange, and also being served with papers for another lawsuit involving Diddy. We can get to that. So 50 Cent posted this clip right here that we've been posting and talking about, you know, the past two weeks, dog. I just had a conversation with somebody the other day. I said, I'm really, like, I'm more like with a, with a W. Like, I'm more. Oh, wow. But define that, though. Like, I'm more. <laughs> <laughs> so what was funny about that? What was funny about that? So 50 says in the caption, he says, it's okay to be a whore. Just make sure you're being overpaid. See a sucker, catch a sucker, 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 drop. You go girl, little uh. sister, LOL. Now 50's comments, young Miami came and said, I think this got taken out of context. It's a gay slur, was up whore. It's something my gay cousin always said to me. It's cunt, it's, it's a slang that we uh. said to each other. That's what I was trying to explain to Jason because he's gay and he got what I was trying to say. Cap. She just spilled the beans on herself, y'all. That's all. They was in a relationship with them other women, little sex working vibes. So you can go back and read with 50 Cent again. He's saying it's okay to be a whore, just make sure you're being overpaid. See a sucker, catch a sucker, 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 dry. So he's calling her Diddy a sucker, but using this clip to catch a sucker, 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 dry. Do it. And it seemed like you honestly did not want to hurt your Miami feeling, but you know, 50 gonna shoot at everybody, man. It don't matter. It don't matter. But um, this clip going viral right here. This dude serving your Miami a lawsuit. I'm gonna explain <laughs> the lawsuit, but check this out right here. Yo, that's me, sir. Bro, yeah, look happy Miami as hell, lawsuit. sir. <laughs> to see. That's all about to do it. He look happy as hell. Bro. My nigga Charlie C actually served Young Miami with this lawsuit. She's supposed to be in this club tonight. Home's about to get fired. He went to the club at 4 30 in the afternoon, y'all. With the folder, the khakis, the shirt tucked in, JC Penny loafers with a nickel in them. <laughs> that boy was happy as hell. He don't even know he about to get fired. Craig, that ain't this your cousin. Good. You fired. Oh, that's me, sir. <laughs> Young Miami with his lawsuit. My nigga Charlie C. It's all about to do it. He say my nigga Charlie C. He hype. Bro, <laughs> my nigga Charlie C. Actually served Young Miami with this lawsuit. <laughs> She's supposed to be in this club tonight. Take her down. I'm about to do it. Bruh. Her birthday, her birthday is next week. Yes. Let me get this to you. Oh, it's, a, it's a gift. What is this? Oh, he said it's a gift. <laughs> Let me get this to you. It's a gift. In the club. 
without her bad bees around. Ooh. What you say? What you say? So my homeboy Charlie C, you've been served. <laughs> he was about to run up out the club, y'all. He turned around quick after he screamed that. It's a gift, though. Okay. Okay, so y'all heard that right there. <laughs> now I pause it so you guys are probably ready to scream. But what they're actually being sued for is that act bad slogan. It all started mm. from your Miami having Puffy on Carisha Please, and um, they were talking about we go to get a real bad, and they were talking about acting bad and stuff like that. Then the song came out. Who knows if the song was already in the work, and that was, that's what they was using to promote the song low key. Y'all know how people be trying Ooh. to plug things and stuff like that. So. Oh, you don't want that. It's requesting $10 million in damages in a lawsuit accusing Diddy of using Act Bad without permission. Now, Charles, in light ooh. of the circumstances, you don't want that. Now, allegedly, this is what happened. They're saying that, you know, Kenyatta is a, he's, an, he's an inmate. He's in jail. He owns a trademark for Act Bad, and allegedly, Diddy came to get the trademark from. What? They, were, they were negotiating terms of the trademark. Wow. I guess they couldn't reach the terms, so Diddy just put it out anyway. Wow. And that's how it is. Like, oh, you behind bars. You ain't going to be able to do nothing. And look at what happened. This isn't real. That's what they're saying, allegedly. So they're saying Sean Cohn. Now, this should not be wanting to act bad in prison. <laughs> and somebody took his trademark. Don't nobody want that right now. You can't. You can't do it. But I've never seen Diddy, you know, sell T-shirts, nothing like that. To this lawsuit, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be honest with y'all at all times. I don't give a damn. I'm going to be transparent and honest. If he did have the copyright and trademark for this, I think he gonna get some money. Facts, and it's proof that he that Diddy with him was negotiating. Facts. God, I'm tired. But as I told y'all, this the media perception. What that got to do with Miami? What she being sued for? This is a weird flex. Lord, remove all the bitch ass niggas from Earth, please. We've officially had enough. Y'all new men are something else. Cloud is a hell of a drug. Record everything nowadays. Hand your. I hate they kind of bullying her now. Baby, just a warm up, see you in prison. Man, come on, bullying young Miami, cut it out. Where's Saucy Santana at? Where's Sassy Santana at, y'all? She been real quiet. 